Did you know? Gunsmith Cats is almost as American as it is Japanese. Kenichi Sonoda, author of the original manga and character designer for the OVA, recounted some of his Western inspirations in an interview with Dark Horse Comics. Actually, it started with a single illustration. I had done an illustration of two women with guns, one tall, one tiny, for an anthology of illustrations put out by a fanzine publisher friend. I'd been thinking of starting up a new manga series, but when I went to pitch some ideas to my editors, they pounced on that illustration instead and said, why don't you flesh out this idea? So where would Gunsmith Cats get its story from? Hollywood, of course. In particular, action flicks such as The French Connection and even The Blues Brothers. In fact, when I started Gunsmith Cats, I was way into The Blues Brothers and I'd seen it a bunch of times, so there was a big influence. Sonoda has also mentioned other American action movies like Bullet, Vanishing Point, and Gone in 60 Seconds for imprinting upon him a love of muscle cars like the Ford Mustang. And in order to give the Gunsmith Cats OVA a genuinely American vibe, the production team enlisted the talents of composer and jazz drummer Peter Erskine to handle the series' music. Speaking of the OVA, Gunsmith Cats has an air of authenticity thanks to Sonoda's attention to detail concerning guns, cars, and the series setting. To give life to Rally's iconic 1967 Shelby GT500, audio of an actual GT500 was recorded in Hollywood. And almost all of the other sound effects, including the abundance of weapons, were recorded using the real-world corresponding items. This should come as little surprise, as Sonoda himself is a self-professed firearms enthusiast. Guns have been my biggest passion for years, and I read three different Japanese magazines on firearms every month. Guns Magazine is the most comprehensive. Sonoda even shares a favorite model of handgun with protagonist Rally Vincent, the CZ-75 First Edition. However, reading about guns and firing them are two very different things. Since you can't own weapons in Japan, it was a real handicap. I didn't get to actually live fire anything until I went to Anime Con 91 in San Jose, which was sponsored by Gainax and Studio Proteus. In 1994, staff members including art director Kazuo Nagai and director Takeshi Mori traveled to Chicago in order to photograph and map out the urban environment. Locations included a local gun shop and the police academy, as well as various residential and commercial areas. When asked about his visit to the Windy City, Nagai didn't seem too concerned with flattery in his descriptions. It was really gray. It was so gray. The grays, the brown brick, the sky's blue color were what I felt. But he continued, I thought the city would be really filthy, but in reality it was very clean. I made sure it was an American town. I'll feel good if people get a feeling of Chicago's air or its background. It's not Japan or Europe, but American Chicago. If I can make them think like that, then it will be a success. Both the manga and OVA of Gunsmith Cats contain shoutouts to Sonoda's previous series, Writing Bean. Released as both a manga and OVA at the tail end of the 1980s, sadly, neither version of Writing Bean was destined for longevity. The manga stopped after only four chapters because the manga's publisher, Monthly Comic Noisy, was cancelled. Around this time, Sonoda also parted ways with Artmic, the producer behind the writing being OVA, leaving many to wonder if there was a falling out between them either due to or resulting in the OVA being only one episode in length. Fortunately, after the success of Gunsmith Cats, Sonoda was later able to incorporate leading man Bean Bandit into the Gunsmith Cats manga. Both Bean Bandit and his old adversary Percy Bacharach, who drives a blue 1967 Shelby GT500 in Riding Bean, also make appearances in the sequel manga Gunsmith Cats Burst. Interestingly enough, all of these developments ended up working out in the end, due to the fact that Bean's partner in both the Riding Bean manga and OVA, before Gunsmith Cats even existed, is a weapons expert who just happens to look very similar to the woman in Sonoda's previously mentioned illustration. The one with two girls he just pulled out of the blue and at the time didn't have anything planned for, until encouraged to do so by his editors, and her name is, you guessed it, Rally Vincent. <laughs>